Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths, a really quick and easy way of how to add a series of double digit numbers using cumulative adding and complements. Now, if you haven't already, then I would strongly suggest that you watch episode one where we covered adding single digit numbers using complements, as we'll be making use of that method here as well. Okay, so let's take a look. So how quickly can you add the following string of numbers? I'll give you around five to seven seconds to do that. Give it a go. Okay, time's up. Did you get 250? Well done if you did, but don't worry if you didn't. I'm going to break down exactly how we can do this. Okay, so let's start by looking at an example. Say we wanted to add 75 to 89. So normally, we instinctively know that on the left-hand side, the left-hand column is the tens column and the right-hand column represents the units. Now usually, we normally start by adding right to left. In other words, we start from adding the units column and then moving over to adding the tens column. So we would normally do 5 plus 9, which is 14. And since that's a double digit number, we carry the 1. And then we would add the tens column. So we do 7 plus 8, which is 15. And adding that one from before makes 16. So the answer is 164. Now this is all well and good, but what if I told you that we can add numbers like this mentally and that without carrying any numbers? Well, it's very possible. So first we notice that 75 is the same as 70 plus 5. And similarly, 89 is the same as 80 plus 9. Now we don't really need to write this down. We just need to know that this is what the numbers represent. Okay, so to add this mentally, we add from left to right. In other words, adding the tens column first, then adding the units afterwards. So we would do 70 plus 80, which is 150. Then we go up and we add the 5, which makes 155. Then we finally, we add the 9, and that gives us 164. Now this is what we call cumulative adding. In other words, adding as we go along. We normally miss out saying plus or add and just mentally keep a running total, which is what cumulative means. So it would be 70, 150, 155, 164. And that's how we would do cumulative adding. Let's take a look at another example. So we have 25 plus 43. Okay, so starting from the tens column, you have 20 plus 40, which is 60. Add the 5, which is 65. Add the 3, which is 68. Or in other words, you have 20, 60, 65, and 68. It can be that quick. Let's take a look at another example. Let's consider 61 plus 79. So we add the tens column down. So we have 60, 130, 131, and 140. Can you notice the pattern here? So we're going down, up and across, and then down again. And we're adding as we go along, keeping a running total. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we've got 42, add 63, add 72, right? Now, can we notice anything special about these numbers? We can realize that we have complements here as the 4 and the 6 complement to make 10. But because they're in the tens column, they will complement to make 100 this time. So 4 and 6, that makes 100. Add the 7 makes 170. And then we add the units. So we have 172, 175, 177. Okay, so what we want to take away from this is that we always want to check for complements first and then we add the rest of the numbers. Otherwise, we can just do cumulative adding. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we have 34 plus 87 plus 53 plus 26. So we can notice that the 8 and the 2 make 100. So that's 100 there. And then we have 150, then 180. And also in the units column, we can notice that the 4 and the 6 complement to make 10 and the 7 and the 3 complement to make 10. So that gives us 20 straight away. So we have 180 plus 20, which is 200. So the answer for that is 200. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. So we have 21 plus 18 plus 54 plus 63 plus 82. Okay, so we can notice that we have complements here. So we've got the 8 and the 2, that makes 100. So that's 100 there. Then we have 160. And then we have another 60 here with the 5 and the 1. So that's 220. And in the units column, we have a complement here. So we have 8 and 2, that makes 10. 
then 4 add 3 is 7, add the 1 is 8, so that makes 18. So we have 220 add 18 is 238. And as you have noticed here, we didn't stick to cumulative adding, but arrange numbers in such a way that help us add quickly mentally. Okay, so let's go back to the question we had in the beginning. Now, as we can see, we can add these numbers effortlessly. So we have 4 and the 6 make 100. 7 and the 3 make another 100, so that's 200 there. Add the 3 here, makes 230. And in the units, since we don't have any complements, we just add cumulatively to the 230 that we have from before. So we have 232, 235, 239, 248, and 250. And there we go. Let me know how well you did with this in the comments below. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.